Good morning, New York traders. Privateer FX back with the opening call for the North American session. We got what we wanted at the European Open, but no follow through. As you can see, we traded up to 113.07, broke through that 113 the figure, but couldn't sustain it. And it moved back down to 80, and now we're 112.90. Kind of a holding pattern here, waiting to see what New York's going to do, waiting to see what the 10 year yield is going to do. We still like the dollar higher. We do not think this gap is going to get filled. And it's not really clear whether we should be adding through 08. So we're going to stand down there and maybe look at this dollar Swiss, which is sort of the same trade. 94.48 and a half the high. The low since the high has been 21. We're kind of creeping back up there. So this looks like an interesting place maybe to add to small dollar longs. But here's the real 98.83 is really the point. It's a nice pivot. Lots of clear air above. This would be a big focus for us for the rest of the week. Aussie, we traded down to 80 back up to 09 basically filled the gap completely we like Aussie lower but we're going to be patient here and either sell up in the 20 between 20 and 38 or sell on weakness if we get down through 78 and then again through weakness down through 50 gold is a nice little setup now I will have like a sort of a Bart Simpson head and shoulders here. Down through 1271.30 uh, is worth a try. As we spoke about earlier, we have the 200 day moving average here. Uh, and this will be a key moment. If we can break this, this will be very telling uh, for this whole dollar bullish trade. So we're watching this level very, very closely. I think selling down through 71 and then adding through 67 and a half is, is the best way to do it. Um, but at the minimum, keep an eye, keep an eye on those levels. Stocks, very, very unchanged in the European session, We're resting at the highs. And I'll leave you with one last trade idea, which is cable. Obviously, we have this lunch with Juncker in May today, and there will be news probably around 4 p.m. CET, between 4 and 6 p.m. CET, about how Brexit is going. If the news is positive, we favor buying sterling yen through the highs, uh, through these hourly highs here. 151.96. If the news is negative, we favor sort of just trying to smoke sterling sort of anywhere you can. I mean, it's not really going to matter if this, if there's a screw up with this lunge and there's some sort of wrench, sterling is going to get punished. 19 has been the low today, which ironically is the exact death knock of that daily trend line. Um, You'll have a lot of opportunities to sell because if this thing doesn't work, we feel like this is probably going to get down to 132.24. Chances are it will work, uh, but got to be looking both sides here. So we'll be looking out for headlines between 4 and 6 p.m. Central European time. What else is out there? Let's take a quick look at the Euro Sterling chart. Really not much to look at there. Kind of in consolidation mode. I will pull up the Sterling Swiss, even though it's 100 points away. Going forward, this is an incredibly important level, 133.23. If you believe the dollar is going to go higher, and we get some sort of positive Brexit, so cable higher and dollar Swiss higher, this level will come into play. This is very, very important 
on the longer term sterling Swiss chart. For those of us who have been watching this since it came down from 210, it's kind of exciting. Far away though right now, so just be patient. But keep this one in mind, 133.33. Easy to remember. Alright, I'll leave you with that. Uh, wish you good luck. We're trying to carefully accumulate dollars. We feel like this is going to be a grind higher for the rest of the week. And we're watching headlines out of the UK. Good luck out there. Talk to you soon. Ciao.